What is going on, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner. And this morning, whenever I woke up, it just had the smell of fall in the air. I know it's only like August 2nd, but I smelled it. Came out of the ranch, and I want to go hog hunt this afternoon. This is my Diamond Edge SB1 Super Rad Bow. I actually love this thing. And uh, we're going to shoot it if I get the chance. If I don't get the chance, I will be shooting that. That is my Howa 7mm 08 with a 45 by 12 Burris scope on top, shooting Hornady SSTs. Pretty much as reliable as it gets. Now, if I get real, real lucky and I find a bunch of little like 40 pounders, break out old boomerang. This is my Winchester Model 94 22 Magnum and it is just itching to be the star of a video. We're running out of meat. We got a little bit of time. Let's go hunt. How many of y'all are new to archery hunting or interested in getting into archery hunting? If you just raise your hand, that's you, check this bow out. It is a very affordable, like four, $450 bow. It's a diamond SB1, comes with a sight, rest, everything. Pretty much good to go. Come on, big daddy. Dead hog. It's always good when you come out, get ready to go on a hunt. Shoot your bow, shoot your gun. Know your weapon so that whenever you have that opportunity, you're confident in what you're doing. If you're not confident, you'll, you'll get away from your mechanics and you won't make a good shot. All your time is wasted and you wounded an animal, which is even worse. Dead on. Let's go hunt, y'all. So we've got about a 10 knot wind out of the southeast. Probably only have about an hour to hunt. So I'm gonna work into the wind. Win, lose, or draw. This is a great day. this ranch we have more wild quail than anywhere I've ever been. Listen. Two cubbies right here. I don't care who you are, that is a beautiful sound. So much more to the woods than just hunting. Take it all in. Seeing quail and, and hearing the animals is what makes this ranch and hunting so much fun to me. Stop, 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 right there. <laughs> 22 Magnum, y'all. For all of y'all who said it can't be done, for iron sights at 60 yards, always gotta be ready. We were talking to the quail, easing down the road, perfect hog steps out, maybe 40 pounds, pull up 22 Magnum make a perfect shot. Hog never knew what hit him. We're gonna load him up, head back to camp, clean this rascal, and then we are cooking fresh 
Wild Hog. Oh, dope. All right, you guys, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna ride back to camp, clean this hog out. If you wanna see a video on how I clean this hog so we can cook it whole, click on the video below. There will be a link in the description below. Or hang out. We're gonna head to the kitchen. I don't know how I'm gonna cook it, but I guarantee you we're about to cook it. All right, you guys, welcome to the kitchen. Now, while we're cooking, if you hear any weird noises, it's probably because I'm watching Emma right now. Emma's over in her room taking a little nap. Mama is at the gym and Aria is over at my mom and dad's house playing with her cousins. And that right there is one of the hindquarters from that hall. Look at that. I mean, if you know anything about wild game, that is about as pretty as it gets. That is the shank. That's what they make Asabuco from. I want to take that away. And I just want to cut this just like that. So we can still use this, but not in this recipe. What I'm left with is a perfect, perfect little ham. As you can tell, everything that I do is totally on the fly. My recipes, I make up as I go. I didn't even go to the grocery store. I just looked in the refrigerator, saw what I had, and said, okay, I know what I can do. Now, inside this ham, there will be a little uh, gland right there. I'm trying to get that right there, out of there. All right, y'all, I'm gonna season it up using Everglades Rub. Oh yeah. And then I'll also use a little Everglades Original. Let's take some all-purpose flour. About that much. That might have been even too much, but whatever. We're gonna salt it up, season that up real nice. Then we'll add some pepper to our... That's what I'm looking for right there, just like that. Take our meat and let's dredge it in flour. Oh yeah. Next step, onion. Get us a little sweet Vidalia onion and turn it into chopped onion. Get it going nice and hot. We're gonna use just some mild olive oil. Just something nice and mild. Perfect. That's the exact amount I needed right there. Now let's take our onion. Throw our onion right That's ginger. Put some ginger in there. Really infuse that oil with ginger. And we're just gonna slide it down in there. Mm. And just see what I'm doing here? I just want the, the onions and the ginger and the love get right up on top. Basically, like they're taking a bath together. You want this meat to get nice and browned on all the outside. That's what we're looking for, nice, browned up, beautiful meat. Take it in here. I just wanna put them on there. Now we have our love package wrapped up nice and tight. The oven is set at 250 degrees. Set this in there. We're gonna let it cook for about, let's say one hour. I want it just to cook nice and slow through and through, sort of steam inside the aluminum foil. 
and then we're gonna make a little gravy. So the hog has been in the oven for one hour now. Let's just take it out and let it rest right there. Now we have the rest of that oil we cooked the ham in. We're gonna make some gravy. Put some flour in there. We just want this to all become like creamy. Now, just take a carton of chicken broth. Let that start boiling. Oh my gosh, the ginger just jumps out at you. Look how nice and tender that is. Mmm. That looks so good. Please hit thumbs up if you want that bite. That's yours right there. Wow. All right, mom is home from the gym. Let's make us some food. That right there could be a perfect Thanksgiving dish. Hey, look at that. Unbelievable. I love it when a plan comes together, you know? That is phenomenal. Yeah, baby. Oh. So just so y'all know, this isn't made up, this is our real life, and Emma is really feeling sick right now. She's kind of got the chills, and so Mama was in there, Sarah was in the shower, trying to get her showered, and uh, she called, so. All you parents can certainly relate. This is the priority. This is where every, this is why you work. This is why you live, is for your children. And uh, so I'm gonna get her a bottle get her situated and we'll finish up, but I sure do appreciate you guys being a part of it. So Sarah is going to come eat some of this lunch, but right now she's taking care of Emma. I'm going to cover this up, keep it warm, and uh, she'll enjoy it in just a little bit. But I can promise you, this, what I'm holding in my hand, is the reason that I hunt. Mm. That is why I hunt. Love you guys. I appreciate you being a part of our life, part of our channel. Have a wonderful day. But for now, we go.